welcome to Montana Haven. Where you'll find hope and encouragement. For you. And your family. It's a big job. Yes, it is. Montana Haven Garden. What's so sad about it is that we're doing all this work and we're not reaping the benefits of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, trying to get the place cleaned up. Trying to get the garden ready. You know, we don't want to just let it go to, to weeds and to waste. So, we're going to have somebody this summer, uh, you know, come in here and they're going to grow things and take care of it but we want to get it into a state of like this is how it's supposed to be and then when we leave they know what it's supposed to look like because right now it's pretty weedy so we're gonna just try to get all the weeds picked up and here are all the uh twigs and stuff we got to burn from the raspberries and the grapes so we're gonna burn that ash is good for the garden and just all these weeds here uh we just got like surface weeds we gotta like get out so this is actually a no-till garden. It's kind of like a Back to Eden gardening system um, that we learned from a gentleman in Swim, Washington. Check it out, Back to Eden Gardening. Just Google it. I don't know what his website is or if he has one, but he's got some really interesting videos. You still have to kind of maintain it. It's all working together on this beautiful, warm, sunny day, and the mountains are spectacular. So we moved some plastic over here because it helped control the weeds right here. Moved it out of this space here. And then we're just taking weeds here and there. And tonight we're gonna go to the community building. And do a lot of raking yet. So we're just gonna take like a 45 minute break and then right. we have to go down there. So, yeah. and I think we're gonna have like a hot dog roast afterwards. And, right, the whole so. community is gonna get together and clean the uh, whole area around the church and the mm -hmm. pavilion and the church grounds and stuff. So it's a big job. Once a year, we got to do that, so yep. we're off to that. <laughs> Many hands make light work. Yeah. <laughs> 
Beautiful evening to be out. Hey, whose who's hot dog is that? I did fell off my I kind of want it. I'm going to grab it and eat it. I want it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hi, <laughs> Dad. Who, me? That fire is hot. They have a hard time roasting. Thank you. And so goes the night. It's all done. Most people are left for their home. And of course, these guys didn't spend enough energy, so they're still playing the game. Wish I had that much energy. Well, friends, hey, Justin, Ethan, and I are at a log home that I built when they were just tiny. This was about in 2010. I remember when we first came to look at this piece of property, I carried one of the two boys up on my shoulders up the side of the steep bank to look at this property. We we're going to build this house. This is my first turnkey project that I ever did. But it's been quite a few years now, and it's time for us to get this home a fresh coat of stain. So the owner asked us, if we would uh, stain it and it just worked out. I was so grateful we were in Montana and it's awesome because we, we, it was a little bit lean this winter. The soup was getting thin. And if you guys don't remember, or if you're new to this channel, six months ago today, actually, I fell and I was doing construction. I broke both of my heels. So I spent a lot of time on my back and a lot of time in recovery. So thankful for Ethan and Justin here because they, they sure helped a lot during this whole time, but work together, us three guys, we're going to it's going to take us about a week to get this house restained. First, we're going to have to sand all the decks, and then we're going to power wash everything, put a product on called Clean and Bright. That's just going to take all the dirt off and, and just brighten it up, clean it up, and then we got to let that set, let that dry. Then we're going to come back and tape off everything. That's going to take a whole day. Then it's going to take another three days or so to uh, get all the coats of stain on. Three coats of stain. It's time to get busy, guys. Let's, Let's go. go. Because we drove here from Alaska in a motorhome. When I got here, I don't have any tools. I don't have any truck. So I used our Amish farm to market store delivery van to come up here and uh, bring all the tools up. So that got us up here today. I don't know what we'll do the rest of the time. Had my brother drop off this genie lift that I'm renting. And uh, so I'm gonna get started pressure washing if I can while the boys work on sanding. You know, you gotta roll with the punches, so what's happening now is I can't get my pressure washer to, uh, it's supposed to suck up, it's got a little hose, it's supposed to suck up um, this product called Clean and Bright and take it through the nozzle and spray it on the logs, but it will not siphon it up into the, into the pressure washer out of the five gallon pail. So I gotta run to town about 30, 45 minutes, one direction, and uh, pick up a hand pump sprayer, I guess, so we can actually get some work done today. The boys are still sanding. That's gonna take all day, but at least I can get started on the pressure washing. I'm kind of set up now, and uh, I just can't get anything. I can't do anything. I'm stuck until further notice, so I, uh, I guess I'll go in and get that done. Well, wouldn't you know it, I went to town, got my sprayer, then I figured out how to use it, which is crazy. I'll have to admit it was user error. So now I'm uh, spraying the house and it's working fine. All right, so far we got the cleaning right on. And then we took a rotary tip and went log by log. Now we're just uh, washing everything back off again. Definitely lighten up the logs a lot. You can see all the stuff we got off the log laying there. Let these dry for a day or so, and then we'll uh, start our staining.
one day done. We got the, all the porches sanded and two sides of the house pressure washed. So tomorrow it's masking everything and pressure washing everything. And then we're gonna give it another day and then we're gonna start staining. It's a big project, but we're gonna go home and have some dinner. This morning we're back and it's raining, but uh, it's fine. We can uh, keep going here. We're gonna try to get this thing pressure washed and you can definitely see <clears throat> on this side over here that it lightened up considerably from pressure washing yesterday. So that's what everything's gonna look like once we're done here. Time to get busy. We're making progress. There you can see what I just got done pressure washing. And that's where it's going. Sure is lightening it up a lot. So that's good. I haven't done the railing yet. Well, we're almost done for the day here. Looking a lot better. Looks really flat right now because all that gray is off of there. And we're just giving the final clean and then uh, we're gonna let her dry so we can start staining. Hopefully tomorrow. Boy's got a lot of the doors and windows taped, which is good. Tomorrow we'll finish the taping and probably start on the staining, hopefully. Good morning. Hey, we are back. And today, it's actually a sunny day. It was raining when we left home. Uh, but it's a 45-minute drive, and it's nice here, so that's cool. Uh, Ethan over here is taping uh, the garage doors. Justin is working upstairs and he is uh, working somewhere. I can't point because it's weird right there. You can see him a little bit. So he's uh, he's taping up there. So we're just going to today concentrate and give, get everything masked up and maybe we can get started on spraying. The logs are still a little bit damp, which is actually good because it's a water based product and that helps the stain uh, draw into the wood. If they're just damp, you can't have them wet, but damp is good. So going to get everything masked up, and then I think we're going to get started hopefully sometime this afternoon. Um, but that uh, pressure washer with the clean and bright combination really lightened things up, probably 50%. So that's really good. Now, when we get this stain back on, it's going to just make it look, just kind of pop. It'll look really good, I think. Working up underneath here, getting this all taped off is kind of difficult, but we're getting it. Now that we're all suited up, it's time to mix up the stain and uh, get going. We just already mixed our pigment in there, so Ethan, go ahead and get it mixed up. This color is called pine wood.
Boy, howdy. We're making progress. We got about 45 minutes before we got to leave. But we got uh, almost basically one side done here. And I'm just getting ready to start on the porch right here. Got the inside of the railings done. This first coat doesn't do much. It just kind of sits there and seals it off. And then subsequent coats kind of sit on top and give it a nice shine. So I apply it and Ethan is back brushing it. Make sure it, it absorbs into the wood and doesn't run and sit anywhere. It's the professional way to do it. Time to give it a once over. Right there is where we stop, you can tell. First coat, like I said, I don't think the first coat makes it look that great. It's definitely better. But uh, the second coat is gonna make it look even better and the third coat is gonna really make it pop for sure. Fresh snow this morning. Three men in a box truck. Well, we're heading to work and uh, we got this box truck from the store because we need to haul stuff for uh, the job up there. So Ethan, what are you sitting on there? Uh, just a, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Piece of furniture for the, for the center console here, so. Anyways, it's rainy and cool, but I think it'll uh, it'll be okay once we get up there and the temperature should be okay. Um, as long as it's above freezing around 40, which it is. So we'll get done, we can get done today. Time to get started this morning. I think we're gonna start with the high part right up here and get all that done. Move down across the front here. Then we gotta stand inside. Get all these railings done from the inside out. Then we gotta do the porch. Then we gotta go on the outside of the railings and spray them in. So that's kind of the process. You gotta really think this through because it's hard to figure out where you can walk on it and stuff. So I'll show you what, it, what we did yesterday. I think it actually turned out pretty good. Still just a little bit tacky, but that's the first coat on the floor. So it's that versus that. So I like the way it looks. I think it's gonna look good. The logs are a darker. That's the way you wanted it. The ceiling looks good. And that's only one coat. We got two more to go. So it's uh, a little bit uh, damp this morning, but it cleared up and quit raining. So I think we're gonna be okay. Plus everything's under the roof, so we should be fine. And uh, Justin and Ethan are setting up the scaffolding for the, the high part behind the house. And I think I'm gonna just get started. Well, I just got done eating lunch. I was working, the boys ate lunch and we switched out. So see, it looks like they pretty much got this side done. That's awesome. We still have to do like all this railing and stuff, but we're getting there. We're gonna get at least one complete coat on, I feel like today. Uh, and then we got two more to go. So it's a big job, but we're, we're making progress. It's good. Okay, we got one full coat on now, and tomorrow we're gonna come to start on the second one. I think it's turn, turning out pretty good. It's a lot of work. Wow, one coat so far, and we now we've been on it for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days. I'll come back tomorrow and work part of the day, I guess. Yeah, you like my hat, don't you? It's pretty cool. Well, hey guys, we're uh, here on a Saturday, unfortunately, but hey, that's the way it goes. You know, when you work for yourself, you're motivated to get things done. And uh, we're going to work about, uh, I don't know, it's about maybe about 2.30 or so, get home and do some other things at home. But uh, we got the whole house last night. We got everything done in one coat. So we we'll start here on the backside and maybe we get about, our goal is to get about a fourth or be nice if we get half of it done. We'll see how far we get. So anyways, it's time to get started. 
Justin's going to be hanging out with me on the brush today. So when we back brush everything, and we brought Wyatt along too, so he can be our runner boy as well as Ethan. So here we go. We're staining a house up here in Troy. We are wrapping up. So we got quite a bit done. I'm pretty happy with what we got done. Actually, I got more done than we figured we would, which is very nice. So all of this area is done over here, all the way around there. You can see it's getting a lot more dark and glossy. And you can see the basement is didn't change. That's We did not get that done. We got the back, all the railing. We didn't get the post down here. Got all the railing here in the front, and we did not do the truss. So you can see the truss is a lot lighter. And you can see the line right there we stopped. So we did not do from there up, but we did from there on down. Still a little wet along here. You can see it looks wet, and the railing's still a little wet. Looking great. All right. I had my three stooges along. If I wouldn't have had them, I wouldn't have got very far. So, wow, what a... How awesome is that? Yep, I got stain in my face here. But uh, guys, if you want to watch the, see how it turned out, you're going to have to watch next week's video because that's going to be on, on another video. That's all I'm going to put on this week's video. It's going to take us probably about a day and a half to finish up. And uh, we still got the rest of the day and tomorrow on this video. Uh, but the rest of the staining is going to be on next week's video. So don't you don't want to miss that. See how it turned out. What a beautiful morning it is. Getting ready to head to church this morning. Love the chimes. Such a beautiful day. for lunch uh my sister and avalon's friend and another friend and so we're gonna make some chicken on the grill and then we also decided to uh, get some potatoes there and throw these on the grill so should be pretty tasty hey babe who do you have here <laughs> i have got one 
one of the twins in my arms. And Cute little nice twin. Thing. Listen, we got our friends over here. Stanton and Daria, you want to say hi? Yeah, hi. <laughs> They're our good friends from, used to live in Missouri, right? Yep. Moved to Montana. And they got twins, which reminds us just like our twins. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Look at that. They're like the yeah. same size. Yeah. Chubby, just like ours were. So cute. <laughs> then we have a good friend, David, here. Mm -hmm. David's hanging out for lunch and <laughs> just having a good time this afternoon, yep. catching up with people. Yep. So good. Good to have friends and hang out. Mm -hmm.